The hardest part about doing an unboxing is that you only have one shot. You can't do it twice. And I know some people that want to do them, like they, they want to open it beforehand to feel it out and then they'll just do the unboxing not in a fake kind of way, but in a way where it's like, oh, I already checked out what's in here and let me now show you what I found. But I like for it to be very like off the cuff, let's see together what's in here. So let's open this up. You already saw the name, you already saw, you're clicking on this video because you already know what's in this box and you know who I am because you clicked on this video. So I don't need to tell you all that stuff, but we are going to open this up and hopefully we will both be surprised. Hopefully we are both pleasantly surprised. What is this on here? I'm just curious of what paperwork is sitting here on top of this, if this is just a... So it looks like it is exactly what I thought it's gonna be. The question is, what color is it? Because I definitely, like, so in this case, when I talked to this company, I did ask for a specific color. And I know that that doesn't always happen, but I'm kind of going through this time in my life where I really like things that are blue. Oh. The box inside the box. So. I am just gonna say that normally, I normally understand the lingo on these guitar names, and I'll tell you that this one at the end says LVB, which I don't know what that stands for, and I think they have a lava burst. I do think that one of the colors that they have is a lava burst, which is still super good looking. I just don't know which one. I said, if I said, okay, I didn't request a blue one, I just said if you have one of the blue ones, be, I think it would look great on camera. So let's see. The, oh, and it comes with a gig bag. I didn't know that these came with gig bags. I was actually super nervous that you wouldn't get a gig bag with one of these. Okay, and just to keep the anticipation a little bit longer just a few minutes longer let's see whammy bar extra springs and all sorts of allen key which i didn't know this was a very allen key heavy guitar let's chat about the bar really quick which is silly to say but sometimes you could tell a lot about what's about to happen there's no click in or screw yeah it's just a solid bar so let's see let's see let's see how this fits on here let me get the rest of this out all of this so far has been quite simple let's see nothing else Oh, just the freshness packets. Gig bag's okay. I like gig bags. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sorry, gig bag. I, you can see through that it's got like a reddish kind of tint, which I think is the, the lava burst. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, this is a thought. Here it is. Oh man. It really does look great. I'm definitely kind of shocked right now. Check this thing out. This is the Court X700 Duality 2. I can't get over how mean this thing looks. Let's go over this. Yeah. Huh. So can you see it okay on the guitar cam? Let's go over to the guitar cam. Check this out. Let's plug it in and get a few tones. I am dying to hear what this thing sounds like. I'm just gonna run into the Archetype Petrucci that I've been doing from Neural DSP for a while. I love the sound of it. It's usually pretty honest about how the guitar sounds. It usually gives me a pretty fair warning of what I could expect live. Oh, I need the whammy bar. What is wrong with me? So now this should just, oh, so wait a second. So, so this isn't like a screw in or a click in or anything like that. This is just straight up, put it in and you just tighten with the Allen key on the side, which also once you get it to the point, like to the spot you like, you can kind of take it in and out freely with like minimal adjustment usually with something like this. This isn't an entirely new concept to guitars. And yeah, my Kiesels were all the same way. So I'm not worried about that. No noise. That's nice. <laughs>
<laughs> I love the breakup crunch. It's a little out of tune now, but it did just arrive, so give give it a break, I guess. Let's a little, get a little first impression high gain. What do you say, okay? Guitar cam. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this guitar does not deserve this kind of abuse right out of the case. It's like, I just got here. It's like when you show up to a party and like the TV's broken and the first thing they say to you is like, can you help us fix the TV? And you're like, cool, I was just trying to relax. And this guitar is getting that kind of treatment right now. And I'm just, I'm putting all sorts of responsibility on it. So far, what I'll tell you is that this is an incredibly well-built guitar and so far, extremely versatile. From what I've seen, I just got it, I've just met it. We're gonna get to know each other a little better and I will tell you more information. Check a little, let's check a few more clean tones really quick though. As far as the specs of this guitar go, be sure to watch this video right here once I've gotten a little bit more acquainted with it.